Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I did this cut crease holiday look. So let's get started. Okay, so after putting my hair away, I'm gonna go ahead and start with moisturizer. Just putting it all over my face. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to primer, concentrating it on the uh, center part of my face and then just uh, spreading the rest on the rest of my face. Okay, the foundation I'm using today is um, these two right here because the Fit Me is a little bit too light for me, so I'm combining the two. And I poured a little bit too much here, but uh, we're gonna make it work, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm just taking a concealer brush to mix the two together and then applying it all over my face. Okay, and taking a damp beauty sponge, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pat the foundation all over my face. Not forgetting my neck, of course. And I'm just making sure that my under eye is clean because I'm gonna put this uh, eye primer and using it as a moisturizer as well under my eye. And uh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to flip you guys off here. I'm just mixing the primer. <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that same eye primer all over my lids. After removing the tape, I'm just making sure that the tape mark is gone. So I'm just wiping it with a clean brush first and then uh, reblending it with the color that I used on my lid just to make sure that the tape mark is no longer there. Taking the tape and putting it on my hand first so it's not too sticky and it doesn't pull my skin off when I take it off. And then we're gonna start with this transition color right here. And with a f um, fluffy brush, we're just gonna put it on above the uh, crease. So putting it all over your, um, pretty much your almost your brow bone. And then taking this next color as a crease color and just making sure everything is blended very well. Next, I'm gonna take this flat brush and taking this color right here, burgundy-ish, purple-ish, and then I'm just concentrating it all over my crease only. So to find where your crease is, just press it above your eye socket, it's in between your brow bone and your uh, eyeball. So just concentrating that color all over my crease, just like so. And then next I'm just gonna take this uh, dance blending brush, eye brush, and then I'm just gonna blend all over my crease, just like so taking this next color, sorry I didn't know this plastic was there guys, and then I'm just putting that color on top of the crease color. So you don't go under the crease, um, if you have to you can go above the crease but not under. Taking this Urban Decay Eye Primer Potion, I'm just gonna flatten this up with this flat brush and then putting it all over my lid. This is gonna help you cut the crease a little bit more. Okay, so once that eye primer is set, I'm just gonna take this flat shader brush with this gray color and then pat it all over the lid. So we're gonna pat it first so that the color stays uh, put. So you, you make sure that you are only on the lid and not go over the crease, of course, because it's a cut crease. make sure that the crease color is good, I'm going to use this angle brush and uh, spray it with my e.l.f. setting spray and then just um, take the same crease color and then just, you know, 
make it a little bit stronger following the tape first on the sides just like so and then going on the crease And then here I'm just taking this angled uh, brush and uh, adding the two color, the two crease color that I used earlier um, to just blend it with the transition color. Then I'm going to take this uh, highlight color right here and put it under my eyebrows just like so. And taking the tape off and then I'm just going to blend it with a clean brush first, the edges and then put in the same crease color so that the tape line or the tape mark is gone so make sure you use a dense brush for this and then once that's done just uh, blend the edges so that it's not too harsh taking the flat brush and taking that color and putting it under um, half of my um, under eye and then taking that same um, color right here and then taking it on the inner half of my lashes just like so an angle brush would be good for this also if you have one so i'm just making the color a little bit dense on the edges but making sure that the transition color still picks through and then i'm um, softening the edges just like so. Well, here putting a generous coat of mascara all over my lashes, upper and lower lashes, and then lining my waterline and tight lining my eyes as well to give a little darkness to the eyes since the colors are a little bright. Then I'm taking this color right here as my highlight color and taking a small shader brush to just apply it on my uh, inner tear duct, just like so. Okay, wiping off any excess fallouts and I'm gonna go ahead and cream contour my face first. And then of course cream highlight as well. I'm using the same damp sponge to uh, blend the contour and highlight. Then I'm going to use this uh, powder bronzer right here to set the cream bronzer. I'm using a translucent powder to clean under the bronzer and on my T-zone. And a yellow powder to set under my eyes. Once the baking time is done, just go ahead and wipe everything with a clean brush. Okay, so I wanted to use this color right here as a blush, but it turns out to be a highlight. So I'm going to use the other color. I'm going to show you guys right now. 
I'm going to use this color as the blush color instead. Then I'm going to go ahead and use this palette right here to highlight my brow bone over my brows. I'm not adding any more highlight. I'm just using the same remaining of the brush for over the brow and my nose, of course, and my cupid's bow. I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, tapered blending brush and that light bronzing color to uh, contour my nose. Then finishing up this glam look with a liquid lipstick and we are all set. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys! Thank you so much for watching that video guys. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my face right here or on the subscribe button right down below. It is free. Uh, I have the goal of reaching 1000 subscribers before the end of the year. So please, please, please help me out if you can. <laughs> Thank you so much and I'll talk to you in the next video.